Hello and welcome to another day in paradise and welcome to another edition of the Unapologetic Negropian in today's video. Do you guys remember this? They know exactly who you are. I'm sure you do. That is Bomani Tayemba. He is a Jamaican American who puts together tour packages for Americans and Jamaicans alike to go back to Ghana and not only have a chance of touring the countryside, but also gives them the chance to buy land. It's called the Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community. There are big problems brewing in Northern Ghana and Bomani Tayemba is deep in the heart of these problems. These problems are so big, <laughs> guys. I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. You're not going to believe what I've got to tell you today. Please sit back, relax, have a cup of tea. Please like, subscribe, share, click the bell notification, and please consider supporting the channel on our Patreon, link in the description. I'd also like to invite you to please follow the Oversight channel, the channel that is there to help you to invest on the African continent, both safely and securely. Link also in the description. So let's get on with this. Where has this all started? So Bomani has this group, the Black Star Repatriation Program, that he uses to help people to come from America, tour Ghana, and also have the chance to sort out their immigration status, as well as the chance to buy land. What Bomani has done is Bomani has bought a lot of land for a lot of people. So between 20 and 30 people, he has bought plots of land in a certain area. One woman who had the unfortunate experience of buying land from Bomani was a woman by the name of Velta, a Jamaican Canadian lady who thought that Bomani could be trusted. She bought one plot of land from Bomani with no problems. She took all the paperwork and everything seemed fine. She then, she then thought, well, let's buy some more land for her children. Four plots of land, totaling $9,000. She spoke to Bomani and put down a $6,000 deposit and she said she would pay the rest in terms. She was waiting for Bomani to send her this paperwork to the point in which she actually cancelled her order for the four plots of land. Now she was aware that Bomani was supposed to take some of that money back, but more than half of it, the refund was not non-refundable. Nowhere does it say in the contract that it is non-refundable either. So she paid this money in good faith. Guys, these are scam artists. There's, they don't have any good faith. Velta did not accept this. And on January the 7th, 2022, and on, and on Friday, January the 7th, 2022, she went to the police station to speak to them about the refund. She showed the policeman the paperwork. The policeman was stunned and then got CID involved. When the policeman showed the CID the paperwork, he was shocked. So he's been selling land without the proper registration, without the proper papers. He's been sending those paperwork. He's been sending the paperwork, the finished paperwork, off to those people who have bought those pieces of land. He's been selling those pieces of land. He's been sending off the paperwork. But the paperwork has been forged. The paperwork isn't even real. Now, the, the authorities didn't know where Bomani was. They enlisted the help of those people who were looking for him too, the ones who he owed the money to. Luckily, one of them had his itinerary and they knew that he would be at a hotel in downtown Accra. When they got to the hotel, they realized that Bomani was getting ready to leave for the airport to return back to the United States. In fact, if you look closely in this photograph, you can see the minibus filled with suitcases of his patrons getting ready to go off to the airport. So what he's done is he's bought one piece of land and sold it two or three times to each person within the organization, which means he's been short selling these people. He's been selling land which literally does not exist. I cannot believe this. They went down to downtown Accra along with CID. 
They went to the hotel. They asked for Bamani to come down the stairs. Bomani comes down the stairs and greets the police officers and speaks to them. Bomani then realizes that he is going to be arrested and tells the police officers in the foyer, I'm sorry, I really need to go upstairs to grab a few things so I can come down to the police station with you. So he goes back up the stairs along with his assistant. Now this is when all hell breaks loose. So he goes back up the stairs with his assistant into his room. And what happens? Well, he doesn't come back down. 10 minutes goes by, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. They're still in the foyer waiting. The police are not allowed to break down the hotel room door because they need a warrant in order to do so. Finally, after waiting for an hour, the manager of the hotel comes upstairs with the police officers and opens the door with the key, only to find that Bomani has gone missing. The window was still open. What Bomani had done is, this is going to sound crazy, Bomani, who was in the hotel room with his 10-year-old son, had taken his son and dropped him out of the window by letting him hang. He must have let him hang and drop from three stories up onto a rooftop of an adjacent building. Then Bomani jumped out of that same window and they absconded from the police. The assistant actually came back downstairs. The assistant wasn't wanted, but the assistant came back downstairs and said, oh, I've got to run and grab a taxi. He went outside, grabbed a taxi, and then picked up Bomani from the other side of the hotel and then drove him to the airport. They then went through customs, and after you go through customs, the Ghanaian police were no longer allowed to take him off the aeroplane. He managed to escape back to the United States. When he lands in the United States, he starts posting pictures with a celebratory fist in the air. Yes, I made it. This was his way of taunting Velta, but it didn't stop there. Oh no, he sent a whole lot of messages. Take a look at this. Effing wicked black devil, stay your ass in Canada, you white half black devil. Hope effing get hit by a bus, you and that wicked bee. Stay the F out of my business, stupid bee. Don't let me ever see you. Lily, you and Velta are wicked black bees. Go F yourself, you worthless bee. You stop effing calling my members. Don't get effed, you effing half-breed. Eh, fake eff black devils. Guys, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable stuff that's coming out of Northern Ghana right now. Uh, it's, it's crazy. I did know that he was a dodgy mother I said this right from the get-go, but I did not know he was this bad. Do not send any money to Bomani. He is on the run from the Ghanaian authorities. He is wanted in connection for fraud. I knew this guy was a screw loose. Guys, you had to have been blind to have not have noticed that this guy wasn't stable and that he wasn't a professional businessman. This goes back to a video I made a couple of days ago about professionalism. If you don't see that a person is not acting in a professional manner, then you should not be doing the most important purchase of your lifetime in Africa through that person. He purposefully sold the land more than once and he's done it to at least 20 people. He must have made tens of thousands of dollars and has now gone back to the United States. Now, clearly, this doesn't mean he's out of trouble. You know what the United States is like. He holds an American passport and therefore, now that he's back in the United States, I wouldn't be surprised if he's keeping his head low right now. Guys, if I've told you once, I'll tell you again. Please, you need to really be careful with who you are investing your money with. I implore you, do not send any money to this man. And the reason why you shouldn't, it's because this man will probably never go back to Ghana again. And I'm dead serious about this. If he goes back to Ghana, he'll be arrested on site. So this isn't totally over for Bomani and it isn't over for the investors as well. There are almost 30 investors who are out of pocket. They don't even have the right paperwork. So they don't own the land. Can you believe that? Nobody owns the land. The chief 
who they bought the land off had no idea what was happening. He knew he was getting a little bit of money. He got a little bit of money from Bomani Tayemba, but that was it. He is still trying to sell the phase two land, which is unbelievable. Phase two land is impossible to sell. It's never going to be sold. So guys, if you are there, if you know about Baumani Tayemba, if you're planning to do business with him, if you're planning to buy your land through him, guys, don't send this guy any money. I promise you, I know now, and at least another 20 people know now, if you spend your money with him, you are going to lose it. It's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. He has now gone back to the United States of America. It's unlikely that he'll ever go back to Ghana. So guys, let me know if you know anything else about this. Let me know if you plan to do any business through him. Let me know if you've bought any property through him. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. It'd be really good to hear your opinion on this. So guys, that's all I've got time for for today. I'd like to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'd like to give an extra special thank you to my patrons and I'll see you in the next one. Until the next time, please think twice to our bit.